Social media can look like the highlight reel of our lives and our bodies, but Ashley Malstead wants to make sure everyone knows that sometimes what is presented isn't an accurate picture. The health and fitness coach posted side-by-side -side photos of herself on the same day, one showcasing a flat-toned stomach and another displaying a tummy with more love. She captioned the pic, same girl, different angles. Ashley joins us via Skype in Dallas. Welcome. Hi, thank you. You're welcome. So why did you decide to post this pic? I mean, I'm going to be totally honest. I kind of did it selfishly because yeah. I've had this page for three years and it has really become kind of therapy for me. And I know that when I'm struggling on something, if I share it and I post about it, um, one, it helps me deal with those struggles because there's something called... Um, well, uh, Brene Brown is an author, and she wrote a book about the gift of imperfection. And in there, she talks about how we all have these gremlins, these things that we are um, afraid of or ashamed of. But if you've ever seen the movie Gremlins, they can't survive the light. So if you shine light on your gremlins, they mm -hmm. can't survive it. And so that's kind of the thing that I have decided to do now. When I have something that I feel ashamed over, then I shine my light on it. And... Um, I had, I miscarried, we were pregnant earlier this oh, year, wow. I miscarried in, in June, and I kind of just kept the trajectory, oh, that's okay, yeah. thank you, um, but I kept the trajectory of just like eating and not really treating my body well, and then I noticed that, I try to be very transparent on my page, mm -hmm. but I noticed I was like, you know, positioning my body or using certain filters or um, wanting, you know, angling so that I could look better and healthier, mm -hmm. and I just had this moment of like, if I'm doing this, other people are doing this, and also why? And like, right, and we're feeding into that chain reaction. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Which is, and that is a struggle. And I think, especially as somebody who's become a public figure through social media, like Instagram, mm -hmm. I, it's difficult to to figure out what you want to share, what you don't want to share. So, what mm -hmm. was the internet's reaction? Um, okay, so I shared it on a Friday afternoon, and people are not on social media on Friday afternoon or Sunday. I just didn't think that it would take off, really. I knew uh, my brand has always been about self-love and finding a healthy balance of, you know, treating your body well and working out and eating clean, but also enjoying life. So that's always been a part of my brand, and I have shared some of these vulnerabilities before. Yeah. Um, so I, and, they, and they've resonated with the people that follow my journey and support me. But never anything like this, and it was overwhelming, the amount of love, and still is. Like, I get messages all day long still, and the post continues to get See, comments. That's, it's now been... That's amazing that you're getting such positive feedback, because usually mm -hmm. when you post anything online, you're bound to get a negative reaction. So when you do, because unfortunately social media has become a battlefield for a lot of us, and has really tested our self-worth, our self-esteem... So how do you fight those voices, those cyber trolls that maybe say things that are hurtful? Honestly, I, I have been on this. Uh, mental health for me is the most important thing, mm -hmm. way more than physical health. Um, part of my story is three years ago, I, I'd always been insecure. I dealt with some very serious depression. And at the end of 2013, there was a good few months where I was suicidal. And I have wow. worked really hard on fixing my brain, and it, and it wasn't just my body, it was just everything, I, was, I didn't believe I had any value. So I've worked really hard on doing personal development and mm -hmm. feeding my brain with really great things, and so now when I get those people there, of course, when how, however many millions of people have seen this, there are people that are really rude, and yeah. I just have learned that there is nobody that is doing well, that is confident, that is happy, that is behind their screen trying to bring someone else down. There's just nobody. And so right. when they're attacking me, I think it says more about them Absolutely. than it does about me. Yeah, and it, it almost makes you want to go out there and say, no, you're saying bad things about me, but it's like being a mirror, and you want to give that mm -hmm. person a hug and say, you're okay. It's okay. Yeah. Now, you've said something that, that kind of resonated with me, that we live in a Kardashian culture, and we're in an abusive relationship with ourselves. So you have dealt with this yourself through your own trials and tribulations. How do we stop that cycle? You know, I'm not really sure other than I think this needs to become more normalized mm -hmm. because there is, I don't know how many millions of people watch the Kardashians or follow them, but they're everywhere. They're huge. Yeah. And <laughs> people look up to them, everyone, I mean, and they are beautiful, but they're not the only kind of beautiful. And there is an issue when 
Kim won't go out in public after she had kids until she loses weight. Like, that's an issue. The fact that your body birthed, like, built other human beings, mm -hmm. and you're ashamed of the way it looks, like, but that's but that no would be credit. that would be her personal issue, and as you said, we're all individuals with our own struggles, and maybe that's something that she allegedly, for all we know, allegedly that's something that she feels, and who knows yeah. the backstory of that? But that's definitely an internal battle that we all struggle with. But you know, the biggest thing is this: this skin, this flesh, this all this is going to go away one day. So you're right. Mm -hmm. You focus on the heart and the mind, and you build that. And if you're happy inside, I believe that it will shine on the outside versus the old statement. So thank you for what you're doing for trying to change the way that we think about our bodies and about our images and also kind of turning things upside down there. Yeah, I think that when you think about the people that you love most mm -hmm. or that you look up to and in, you know, are inspired by the most, it has nothing to do with the way they look. Like no yeah. one at your funeral is going to say, we remember Ashley for her abs. Like nobody, <laughs> no. nobody thinks about that but us. Like we really are in an abusive relationship with ourselves. Yes. We wouldn't tolerate our best friends or whoever talking to us that way about our bodies. And so I think it starts up here. And yeah. and that wasn't an, an attack on Kim. No, I think, no, like no, to no. your point, it's society. It's yeah. It's just what we're trained to do that I have to look a certain way and not appreciate my body for all the things that it does do for, for me. the first time in our culture because of social media, we always point out all the negativity about it, but for the first time we're having discourses like the one we're having at this very moment that's making us question our insecurities and our body standards and putting out these fears into the atmosphere and that's really powerful and you're helping perpetuate that. So thank you so much for joining us, Ashley. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I definitely think this message needs to get out there. So the more people we can reach, the better. Definitely. For more on Ashley Moulton, follow her on Instagram at Foodie Girl Fitness. For Fox 411, I'm Diana Falzone.